I'll be showing you the hardest jumps you can do in Valorant with no abilities, no particular order. Let's get right into it. Oh, also just quickly, if you see me pressing my shift key when you think I should be pressing my crouch key, don't worry about it. My shift and crouch key are reversed. I just thought you should know. One of the hardest to master jumps is the seaside box jump. The jump requires you to strafe around the corner perfectly and release your, the crouch button at the perfect time. When I was trying to learn this jump, it took me over an hour to be able to land it for the first time and took me a lot of practice and frustration. And even still, after putting a lot more hours in, it's still very hard to land consistently. Even though this jump is very hard to learn, even harder to land consistently, it can definitely be worth learning, as it can give you this really nice off angle to lung. It can also just be fun to confuse the enemy by being up here as a character that's not supposed to be up here. Smart something. Woo! I did it! Let's go! So it might be possible to hit the jump like this, but it doesn't seem to be working for me. So that's why I started trying to do it this way. I would duck myself into the corner like this, and I would aim around this area so to have a bit of area to accelerate. I would curve around and try to land on the very edge over here, then bunny hop and try to reach it to the other side. Unfortunately, to be honest, this jump doesn't really seem to be worth it at all, as it doesn't accomplish a lot, as in the first place you aren't even able to get up here without any utility, and second of all, getting to this box isn't that special, as if you really wanted to get to this box, you could just use your ability to get up to this box. But at the same time, it was definitely a fun jump to learn, and also definitely worth checking out and trying out if you want to just practice your movement and want to set a challenge for yourself. You can get on top of the truck by getting a boost. This jump definitely isn't the hardest one on the list, but you shouldn't underestimate it, as you need a perfect strafe around this corner, that you need the perfect time to reach it. Uh, and also because it's different elevations, also increases the difficulty of this jump. Also the risk makes it a bit harder, as getting up here already takes a bit of effort, and if you then don't make the jump, you're stuck, and you can't get up again in time. But at the same time, this is one of the easier to consistently land jumps on this list, which does make it worth practicing, as it can give you a nice up angle. I included this jump into the list because before the making of this video this jump is, was very inconsistent for me and I didn't really know any strategy to do it, I just thought it was mostly luck. As you can see on the input overlay, I'm just mostly spamming crouch and hoping I get up there. But after practicing some more, I started being able to do this jump without having to spam crouch, and rather I can just press crouch once and release it when I reach the highest point. But the most important thing seems to not stare at the wall like this and jump and press crouch, but instead moving from left to right while doing this jump. Out of ascent, you have a similar jump that you use the same technique for. To do this jump, the run up doesn't really matter, you can jump from anywhere in nest. You should jump as late as possible, attach to the rope, and instantly let go of the rope again at the furthest point you can and try to land on the corner of the generator. This jump is useful for agents that aren't normally able to get up here or for agents that need to use utility to get up onto the generator. This way you can save some utility or get an off angle with an agent that isn't normally able to get an off angle. You can trust me when I say that this is definitely one of the hardest jumps in the game. The jump requires a lot of precision and very good timing. The jump also has a lot of risks. <coughs> it's definitely something you can be very proud of if you do make it. Please consider liking and subscribing this video was helpful to you. And maybe even watching another video like this one that YouTube recommends to you. 